today I wanted to talk a little bit about an actual implementation that we went through helping an organization work through the adoption of uh, AWS. Uh, first, a little background about Redapt. Uh, we've been around for quite a while, focusing really in on adoption of the cloud technology resources. And we have several divisions that help with the adoption of AWS, irregardless of the life cycle that you're in, whether it's just the, the initial tip of the spear of dipping your toe into how does it work in a hybrid fashion, or all the way into how do I really take advantage of the, the truly integrated services that are there. Uh, I myself, over 20 years of IT, just about 10 of them in cloud adoption specifically. And so we've done a lot of uh, deployments in there. Uh, the size of Redapt is a good size where we can handle large deployments and large scale in integrations, but still provide that personalized services to, to uh, the actual project that you have and what you're trying to accomplish there. So if we go in here and talk about a specific customer that, that we're working with, the, there's this uh, large apparel manufacturer that's US-based. It's a multi-billion dollar organization, and they were really facing challenges with their cloud adoption that they had. Uh, they really wanted to look at the total cost of ownership of what was going on. We were able to partner with them to help bring clarity to the organization around the adoption strategies that they had, to find some of those standards that they need, get some more visibility in there, but they still wanted to leave flexibility for each of their divisions uh, to be able to leverage the tools that they want to leverage uh, within AWS. So as we started working with them, we really found that uh, a few things that really stuck out. One is each of the different business units were really hyper-focused on their objectives, and there wasn't really a global uh, idea of what adoption of the cloud should look like. So they each went on their own and successfully adopted tooling and integration into AWS, but there was no standard across the organization that, that really helped perform uh, you know, auditing from a, from a security and a compliance standpoint. Uh, IT kind of lost control. Uh, we saw a lot of shadow IT out there, not by malicious intent, but simply trying to obtain their objectives. They, they, the cloud is so easy to adopt and AWS makes the tooling so easy that folks can start deploying these tools and start getting results right away. And so we saw a lot of IT sprawl, which turns into IT spend that kind of goes unchecked. Uh, and just as a general rule, we typically see this in larger organizations. It's a bit more of a, a bigger problem because of these very reasons of folks are very focused on obtaining their objectives. And AWS has got such wonderful products and that they made it so easy to adopt them uh, that folks are really diving into it. When we worked with this specific organization, we narrowed in on some key initiatives that we were going to help them with. Uh, the, the couple of them were tagging and patching. Tagging is the thing that really helps bring visibility into the environment so you know what your costs look like and, and things like that. Patching, I mean, simple security controls just weren't in place because of this shadow IT that was going on. Again, it wasn't malicious in any way. It was just folks who were trying to deploy things and not really understanding the full breadth of what IT structure needs to ensure that they're secure and compliant going forward in there. Uh, but ultimately, we wanted to get down to a, a, a more robust platform that was easier to manage for them and provided visibility into their environment so they know exactly what, what's deployed as well as the total cost of ownership. Uh, there was a lot of cost going in, as you can imagine, in several departments all spending the same dollar, basically solving the same problem rather than getting together and saying, hey, this is a corporate issue. Let's go ahead and solve this once and, and generate the reports out for everybody. Again, that's a lot of things to tackle. So we narrowed it down to three main pillars for this organization, and it really covered around governance, financial and technical that we wanted to start with. And so as we're working with them, we wanted a clean adoption technology, right? Are you selecting the right technology? And we wanted to provide some governance around what technology they were be able to select and what technology would be put into use. And so they could get, you know, IT a little bit more on board as far as managing and maintaining that going forward, uh, right? Is the spend appropriate? Is it controlled? Is it monitored? And more importantly, is it understood what you're spending and how that spend is being used? And certainly there are compliance needs that are out there and they wanted to make sure that every organization was meeting the compliance requirements that they had in the various regions globally that they were working in. And so we narrowed in on these and we were able to help them out of focusing on these pillars here. We started with the governance and security aspects of it. Uh, really, it was around defining blueprints. 
blueprints are just just like you envision you know building a house you have a blueprint first you build the house second so that it works and, it, and, and you know what you're going to get we do the same thing with cloud adoption right this cloud center of excellence is really about think about what the cloud should be at the end not where it is today and let's build it appropriately so that we meet that end goal uh, Chris spoke about some standardized, you know, security hub, the, the new Amazon firewall services, the guard duty, you may see all these things that bring fantastic uh, visibility and uh, security utilization to the entire environment. And that's what blueprints are. Blueprints are really saying, hey, we're going to standardize on the AWS security hub, and that's going to be able to report out to everybody. And we're all seeing the same reports. We're all managing it the same way. We can all communicate with each other much better when because it's all standardized. And those are the things that we're looking for when we're getting those security standards, those blueprints in place, and just getting that common use architecture for them to work forward with. Financial was another big one. Uh, there was a, the finance team was really, you know, just kind of paying the bills and they don't understand, you know, are we duplicating efforts and things like this. Uh, there was three corporate systems to track cloud spending at this organization and those three systems did not integrate together. We worked with them to centralize those efforts. We worked with them to, to improve the tagging or the little annotation against each asset that's in AWS so that they know who owns it, what's it for, the life cycle of it. There's several things that you can do with tagging that bring a lot of visibility into the environment and really help enable that accountability at the department level usage. And really it's about visibility, understanding if the resources are appropriately being used, appropriately sized, and that you can you know, ensure who takes responsibility for those resources. And not only from a management perspective, but from a financial perspective as well. And then finally, we were talking about technology. Uh, really, we wanted to create a base language for them so that they can communicate with each other. We found in the organization that there were several, uh, four different organizations who were trying to solve the exact same problem. And that problem was, what is the cost of my product from first concept to delivery to the end customer? And they were working in individual work streams to solve this problem. And they were implementing tooling and reporting and chargeback kind of mechanisms. And they were all pulling this data individually four different times. And so they had four different methodologies in order to try to solve that question, which is what is the total cost of my product to get it into the customer's hands. So we were able to meet with those organizations and, and those business units actually, and we we're able to centralize what is it they're trying to accomplish? What tools are they using? What was the successes of the, each of the tools that they'd selected? And we're able to help them define that process so that it can work together. So now they have one process that's corporate wide that helps those four organizations as well as any other organization who wants to adapt that metric, understand what is the true total cost of ownership for delivering any product that it might be out to the end user customer. And this is really where we get into that service catalog. We help the organization define what are the services that really bring value to the organization? What is the value that it brings? Ensure that we have standardization on that single service that's there so that they can continue to use common terminology, common capabilities across the organization. Another thing that we really helped out with was with automation. Uh, AWS has a phenomenal ability to automate the deployment of any asset. And that comes into play as you scale out and you grow your organization, you want to ensure that when you deploy additional resources, that you're still maintaining the level of security and compliance that you need. And so by doing automation or infrastructure as a code, it removes any accidents of you know, clicking through a browser. Maybe they forgot to apply a firewall or maybe they forgot to apply any kind of standards that, that have been defined. With that infrastructure of code automation, we remove those accidents out of the user's hands because they're predefined in the code. They want to deploy another uh, tool or they want to deploy another asset within AWS. They simply pull up the code and they can push that out there very, very easily. 
A few other things that we did is really around the gold image. This is something that everybody was just kind of deploying whatever they felt was the best size for that service without putting a lot of thought into, is it appropriately sized? Is the cost appropriate for what it's providing to us and things like that? And so this gold image enforcement, it, it, it's not just you know an operating system level type of enforcement there, but it's around all of the, the great assets that are in AWS and ensuring that we can control that environment for them. And then ultimately we're able to work with them and continue to bring visibility into the environment. Now, the first goal was that total cost of ownership. Uh, total cost of ownership is a difficult thing to achieve, especially in a very large multi-billion dollar organization. But the key was finding those pillars and narrowing in on the things that will really help them build up to that total cost of ownership and starting specifically with their IT cost of ownership and ensuring that they're all on the same page, they understand the risks of adopting certain aspects or certain technologies within the cloud, and the risk might be not only technology, but it might be a cost associated with that as well, and they can have much better conversations around those type of activities. In the end, we're still working with this organization. Uh, it's, it's always a continuous improvement process to really scale out that cloud and ensure that they've got it uh, set up correctly. And so, you know, we would love to have an opportunity to help anybody else who, who is facing the challenges of adopting the cloud, whether you're starting out and, and just want to make sure you're doing it right the first time, or whether you might have already jumped in and you just want to do a, a level check and say, you know, did we do this correctly? Are we meeting the compliance needs or the policies that we have set for our organization? And are we truly being as efficient and leveraging what AWS offers to the, to the most of its capabilities.